Yo, what's going on, everyone? And welcome to another installment of the Cup Championship mode here for the Federator of the Cars 400 at Richmond Raceway. Um, I am... As much as I want to say uh, that I am actually excited about this race, it's Richmond. <laughs> it's Richmond. I'm really not. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I hate Richmond as a single player. Um, I also say, uh, here's the setup that I'm running right here. This is Nipa Gaming's uh, setup. Um, I think if, it's always really good. We, like, we finished like, P6 here last season in uh, Heat 4, so hopefully we can actually uh, um, have a good run now. Um, but I mean, honestly, if we just even have, uh, have as close to a, uh, um, as close to a moment as what we can do, uh, Last season will be a okay. Yo, Kansas uh, 15. Thank you so much for uh, uh, for the follow, my guy. And Ben 10. How are you doing today? Shouldn't you be teaching? Um, well, uh, it has been a while. So um, right now uh, I was not able to find anything. So yeah, we are kind of taking this year on hold right now, and we'll be going in teaching later on. That is something else for a different day, though. So yeah, let's start our qualifying run. Green, green, green. So now it feels a little bit loose. Hopefully this isn't a sign of things to come because it looks like we are definitely actually no I like uh Joey Legano is below us. Uh, usually this is uh, um, usually this is uh, a good indicative uh, way of showing who is in the championship title fight. Um, and honestly, there's a lot of a lot of our competition up in the top ten. If you're wondering where uh, the points are, uh, my game's glitched, so that is literally in the about section uh down below um so yeah check out the points right there those are completely updated and yeah let's uh get on going could have gotten better oh yeah and down um i know this is gonna be a it's gonna be a long one um because i know that uh well literally richmond that was like my first lap turned right there uh, so hopefully we actually have this in That's really all I'm really hopeful. Hope for Coming to the green driver. Um, go, go, go. We are green here. We're clear. We're behind you. It's on the uh, high side, so there's no nowhere really to go. Inside, inside. Clear behind. Checking up a little bit, because I know the high side stacks up. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Clear left. Ooh, Chris Busher, you got a little bit of contact right there. Kind of knocked me up the track. The sooner we can get away from the uh, top side, the better. Unfortunately, the Richmond top side is not the way to go. Left side. But right now, we got to avoid. We got to avoid the other competitors right now. All clear. Oh, there we go. That's our opportunity. We're just gonna follow Jimmy Jam. Bowman on the high side, but it's poor Daniel Suarez in the middle. Stay to your left. This is smooth, there we go. Still yeah. there. Oh yeah, well, everything's physics was way better than, uh, than E5. Careful. You know, Still I love there. this game to death, but I will say that it is not a sin by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, for a... Um, 
a sim in my opinion. I mean, it's obviously a pirate sim. This is nowhere near that right now. Wow, that's bad. Careful, still there. But that's just speaking truth and uh, like just obvious facts. Your that's not even. That's not even like a hot take. It's just facts. Stay left. I've never actually, uh, as you guys know, I've never actually had a wheel. So I'm actually in the market for one uh, later on. Because uh, I, I do want to get one racing here sometime this year. Okay, good. Matt has it can like go away. Right side. Yeah. Got one outside now. Ooh, there we go. That was a really aggressive right there. Stay to your left. I like that line, and I'm drifting up right there. Not quite diamonding the turn, but like... Stay to your left. Letting the car naturally drift on up. I need, I need to start running off the corner a little bit sooner. Stay to your left. It's going to be a slow burn to uh, get up uh, to the front chat. Stay left. But all clear. Give me a little bit of time. We'll get there. Give me just as fast, if not faster, on a wheel. And that's what I hope so. Uh, I actually, uh, I didn't stream it, but um, I recorded a race uh, that I did last night, um, where I uh, did a completely a complete race at Mid Ohio using only the cockpit cam. That was my first. Actual race. I am not really at your bumper. Just imagination, but I didn't crash. I didn't make contact with anyone, so like I consider that an absolute win. I like to think I have good spatial awareness, so I definitely think that is a one way plus plus Still there. A little yeah, more, need a little more uh, exit or center of the turn right there, and I think it's just going to be getting tight. I can't kind of throttle. But turns one and two is the way you know. It all just depends on my setup. Well, the thing is, my controller is. Um, my controller settings are just straight uh, standard, like default. As if, like, you plug in a controller, like, as soon as you get the game, that's, that's what it is. Careful, still there. See, so you just. Careful, when I want to get onto the, into the throttle. The car just doesn't want to turn. I'm too tight through there. Turns one you and two is You're clear. Feels good through there. But no, I can imagine. I can imagine, obviously, a wheel in there would be ten times better. Like, not even a question. That was the best lap ever. There we go. Yeah, we're making our way up through the up, up through the field now. Starting in P21, or not? I, I, I say that, but really, it's uh, I fell back there because I was on the high side. Good job. I think I, did I even hit uh, P22, uh, or was it 21? That was that was the lowest. You can run way looser. Oh, yeah. You drift up the track right there and lose some time just by. Definitely got to fix that. I mean, I like to think I'm actually pretty good on controller, honestly. Like, definitely being able to uh, hold a consistent line really does help. What up, TA? How you doing today, man? Missed the throwback race, man. We did uh, voice to text and everything. Unless, like, unless if I actually remember uh, correctly, you may have like stopped in for like a hot second, but after that you kind of dipped. Listen to you. Oof, I'm sorry. Got those removed. Oh, that was a good turn. It's three and four. My, 
mic as well. I'm also talking quieter too. Like I'm not like screaming like I usually do. I've been making a conscious effort to try to talk quieter during my stream so I'm not so I'm not like screaming. Looking outside now. Kyle. I have the Bush brothers right behind me, both of them. I swear to God, if Kurt dives it on down here, Kurt, see, now I'm gonna be like, now I'm gonna be like massively loose throughout this entire run. Any damage that you accrue, uh, any damage in the rear makes you looser. The quiet path. Any damage in the in the front or the hooded area makes you tighter. God, that's gonna. Well, the thing is, I realized that he was gonna do that too. That's why I blocked down low, and he still ran into me. Luckily, it's only one percent though, so it's not that bad. But what I'm, what I'm getting at, though, it's still a long race, and Kurt's already throwing the kitchen sink at it. Also, don't hit the apron like I just did right there. Oh, I just now realized that Maddie D is actually winning this race. Yeah, I just I keep getting kicked up the track right there. Just way too tight in the center. I see the absolute legend himself up there. I see Timmy freaking Hill. Oh, yeah, I just, it's like you hit that bump and it just shoots you up the track. Doesn't want to turn. Like, on a pure uh, preset, it's so much worse. Dang. We have, what? I'm in 15th, 14th, 13th, 12th, 11th, 10th. I was all the way up to 9th right now. All clear. With uh, Christopher Bell and uh, Bubba Wallace, the lap traffic is definitely going to be a factor. Oh, slow car, slow car, he's in the way. Bottom lane, moving. Look ahead for me. Clear outside. Got to pulse the throttle in order to get through there. Take as wide of an exit as possible. I mean, honestly, as long as I can make this, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about pit strategy. As long as I can survive to like lap 100, where we should be able to make this into a three-stop race, we will be a okay. Because there's no way we can do this in two. All the way to the wall. Bubba, Michael McDowell. Oh, thank you for taking the top right there. All clear. Chris Busher. 
So either the AI are having problems right, or I'm getting faster. I'm pretty sure it's the former of the two. Right side clear. Yeah, because there's no I feel like there's no way that I'm getting that incrementally faster. Start letting off the throttle a little, a little sooner. Looks like Tyler Reddick had a moment. Chris Rebell is going to get stuck behind Quinn Half. Quinn Half himself was a moving chicane at Darlington, but that's nothing new. There we go. Actually, the uh, button noises. Oh, you guys should have heard it. I, actually, you guys may have heard it in uh, the race at uh, FRL, uh, Fast Lane Racing League, uh, Cup Division at, Do at Dover. There were so many just button clicks. It literally, like going into turns one and two, you could all you could hear was just like. Got one inside. I knew that was just going to happen. Looks like Tyler Reddick has a really fast car. It's better to let him go and just... Just ride. Looks like we... Feels like we got to figure our car out. Especially in turns three and four. Daniel Suarez dropped like a stone. We should have, yeah, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is in the back of the top ten. Chad Finch being right there. Doesn't allow for the best exit, but you know, whatever. Chris Pusher gets off super easy right there because he catches him at like the exact best time. now we're doing our best this this race is going to be a lot like uh, Darlington where we are going to have to have a lot of patience and it's not so, going to be so much with like the AI it's going to be a lot of patience with um, the car because the car at Richmond just is not going to want to behave it's going to want to act like a total diva. It's not going to want to turn. It's going to be too loose on exit. I 
there's also going to be a... Uh, I mean, I guess we are, we are going to have to worry about the uh, other AI that have, like, good, like, short-run cars and good uh, long-run cars. I'm not quite sure where we lie in that regard. Is Eric Lamarola? No, he's not. Oh, wow, he's just that bad. I mean, honestly, as long as I can just finish the race. Uh, we've had two DNFs this season. I don't want a third. Yeah, wow. All Marola in 32nd. Ravioli, Ravioli, give me the All Maroli. That was real. I hate coming off side by side in uh, turn two. All clear. Because it kills your inches into turn three. Because you want to arc it up into turn three and cut down low. Feel myself starting to get loose. Whether it be the damage, because of the damage, or. Or otherwise, Timmy Hill's Timmy Hill's going to be the uh, Quinn half of this race. You can tell. Did not slow down enough. Hit the bumps and just was not not reacting. Looks like Austin Dillon's also not having a good race as well. Bobby Carter and Austin Dillon right next to each other. They left. A little bit of contact right there. Just trying to be like, hey, you know, kind of put this on hold right now. I got places to be. Leader for me is, is uh, close as well. I, I have places to go. I'm not, I don't want to get lapped. I'm in P12. Lap 55. Looks like we're kind of in our sweet spot right now, where maybe like P12, P13 is where we're slower than the cars in front, but faster than the cars behind. So, looks like we're about to finagle our way into a good finish like whether it be through cautions or strategy like I said I'm I'm planning on pitting every 100 laps or if the AI pit then I'm kind of forced to actually you know what I'm not no if the AI pit before me then I just continue my on my merry way and just pit every 100 laps that's my strat I'm not passing someone on the high side. That is a death sentence. Prime way to lose time right there is trying to pass on the high side here. Ooh. Had a little screen freeze right there. Is someone having issues? Remember, in previous games, that usually means that someone blew a tire or uh, blew an engine. Clear right. I don't see anyone slow on the little mini map. Maybe been a false alarm. Ah, uh, there's Maddie D. The thing is, we're not really. Well, I mean, we kind of are, but, like, it's not like... It's not, like, a massive, uh... Tire disadvantage right now. I mean, like, we're... Come, yeah, we're, like, on 55 and 58%. Like, so, like, we're halfway through our tire life right now. 
and we've only dropped off like two tents. Ooh, come on, Brendan. Come on, leave a little more space, please. Careful, still there. All clear. I was expecting him just to totally back off right there. That one and I lock it up. I lock it up trying to get on the brake. Alright, caution, come out right now. Well, I'm happy that Matty D is, uh, is up, up right, in the lead. Clear. So, don't get me wrong on that. But, I know that he probably will not finish here. Who's in second right now? Let me see if I can... Is he even in shot? No, I have no idea who's even in second. Unorthodox, but you know, whatever. Yeah, it's starting to really get loose. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. There is an argument to um, to uh, stay out the entire fuel window, but I honestly think that pitting on lap 100 will just make it a nice, clean three stop. Pulse the throttle a little bit because turn two is starting to get really loose. So right now, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is the first car one lap down. So, hmm. actually, now that now that I'm not the first car one lap down, there's two uh, two schools of thought. Uh, stay out for the entire fuel window, or risk it for the biscuit, and hit super early to try to undercut the field. Which, to me, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's such a risk. Oh, I'm getting so loose right now. Gotta start getting a little pulse right there. out there. Not really doing much. I would say because of how my car is starting to handle, we are starting to drop off in times. Yeah, we're now hitting threes when we were hitting twos. Right now, I I think we 
just kind of click off some laps. Already coming up on a quarter of this race done. Richmond is, it's an annoying race, but it feels, because there's so much to do, like, I'm always busy, like, I'm, I'm worrying if, like, Chris Buescher is going to make a lunge, if he's getting close, I need to make sure I'm not getting loose, I need to know where the leaders are at so I can get out of their way, like, right now, Matty D's the only person I'm seeing, I have no idea who's in second right now. I can't even see them, because that's Chad Fincham right there, and Timmy Hill. I have no idea who's in second. What am I doing on Bubba? Alright, I'm still pulling a gap, we're good. Yeah, we are really starting to save. I mean, if we could, I don't think we would actually be able to. No, we can't make this a two-stop. There's no way. But there's... I really sent it in there. There is a line of thought where I can just take two on the final stop. Because right now... Yeah, well, tires... 56 and 65 are not bueno. God, that's a traffic jam up there, I see. And Matty D's in the middle of it. Trying to break into uh, having the top 10 or 10th, 9th, and all that, all lap down. I've always noticed something, is that like in the Cup Series, there's always like one leader that is just so astronomically faster than everyone. Like, it's actually insane. They usually calm down by like a, a caution or something like that, because it seems like it takes everyone like entire fuel run in order to get all set up. Howdy, Ross. You're kind of running the bottom there. Kind of messed me up, but you know what? You do you, bud. Looking forward to uh, seeing you in the Cup Series this year. Is William Byron actually for a position? He is not. Oh, I see Brad K up there. Brad, we've, uh, with our performance at Darlington, we're actually able to uh, break into the top eight in points, actually moving in one position ahead of Brad K. And it looks like there he is now, up into P9. Ooh, that was really loose. Directly in front of uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Stay left. Clear to the right. Now we're starting to figure our car out. Looks like this is an extreme late run kind of car. Still there. At least compared to our competition. I should probably rephrase that, because that's a huge deciding factor. Then again, it also could just Still be there. how the lap traffic is being played out right now. That's loose, that's loose. That's a loose condition Looking right there. Now. Clear right. Gotta really watch that. That's a major 
time loss right there. Yeah, I gotta like catch it. And it breaks the momentum. Careful, still there. And allows Chris Busher to get up here with us. Can I get to Quinn Howe here into turn one and two? Well, luckily he takes the top anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All clear. Yeah, we are starting to get really loose, though. The turns three and four is starting to click. I'd say we can loosen up a little bit. I like, okay. The line that I'm able to run right there, that that's magic. I'm starting to figure that out. Wait, who's that? Is that Clint Boyer? Oh, I think Clint Boyer is actually in second. I was actually finally able to catch a glimpse of, gl glimpse of him. Oh my god, if I can talk. Still Ricky. Also glad that Jimmy Johnson's actually able to drive away. He's having a good race. Hard on the outside. Outside. It's Ryan Priest. Stay low, stay low. Nobody out back. No takers as of yet. I think I'm actually I'm gonna call him Mulligan. I don't think uh I don't think uh pitting on lap one hundred is the best strat. That's when our window opens in order to make it on uh X amount of uh pit stops. Border is gonna. Oh, he is. Clear all around. All clear. Yeah. Left side. Not a very good turn. Not a very good turn. This Boyer is right there. Inside. Can't get past. This we're gonna have to, right, to pull some fancy flying. Oh, there we go. Now he has some takers. Who is the first one? Ricky! Alright, now... Now that... That's it. We stay out. Strategy is made up. Is starting to fall off the cliff, though. I can feel it. Not just in turns one and two anymore, and now it's in turns three and four. How are we looking to P13, though? Still pulling off some time, so that's good. Looks like the cars are trickling in, not like. Oh, wow. Well, that was a moment right there. That car ahead of you is hitting. Slight contact with Chris Buescher got me into uh, Corey LaJoy. Yeah, that was not fun. Oh, I found Denny. He's in B3, having a good race. Clear all around. That car in front of you coming to the pit. All clear, all clear. No all right, so yeah, we're going to call him Mulligan. And we're gonna pit later. That car in front of you is coming to the pit. Got a headlight out on your bumper. Gotta give, unfortunately, gotta give Denny some room. Clear low. And Harvick's right there, too, so a lot of our championship rivals. Pit 
pit, yeah, pit road's starting to be a real busy place now. Oh, John Hart name checks having a good race. Watch the car in front of you. Slow it down. It's gonna be pitting. Benedetto still staying out. Any car just ahead. So not only does he have a fast car, but he's also... Oh, there we go. I think he's pitting now. One back. You're all clear on the bottom. Clear all around. There we go. All right. Brady on the front. Pit this time. I know it says we can go for another 18 laps, but we're going to be killing, just eating time. So let's just, because look at this. Or oh, sorry. Yeah, three to four tenths off of our fast laps. So basically when our tire light comes on is when we're coming down. We are 2% away from that. Inside. All right, Ooh. you're clear. That was a moment right there. Left side. These guys are going to be coming in a in a hurry, so just let them go. But this is what I'm talking about, though. Eating time. Like, this strat only works as if, if there's a caution, like, right now. Caution. Alright. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Sometimes it works out like that. <laughs> oh, too easy. Oh, that's a clip right there. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna loosen this up just a just a hair. Um, hand out. We need the downforce. Keep that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Shoot, I don't care if I start fifth or anything like that. Kurt Busch gets the lucky dog. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna be slow as hell, but you know what? I'm on lead lap, baby. Coming to the green, driver. Be ready. Ready. Right side. Careful, still there. Careful, still there. Right side. Oh, that is a nice scheme, by the way. Hunt Brothers Pizza on the hood Still with there. fields on the side. Kevin Harvick has some nice schemes. Nobody out back. Right side. That was a great this is what I'm talking about, though, with um, how slow we can be. Ooh, there we go. Oh, okay, and that hit turns one and two like real good. But that's not good though. And three, and we're gonna back out. Let's back out, back out, back out. Don't want none ya. I don't want none. Ooh, Manny D, what happened there? 
It's like he got, like, loose coming off of turn two and just backed on out. Looks like Jimmy Jam's up here in eighth. Good job to him. That's a good lap. Ooh, yeah, that was not a good turn, though. I, I know, yeah. I, you, you can tell what the AI does based on how they how they move around the track. Like right there, you can tell that he was just gonna dive it on down. So who's out of this race? Oh, Tyler. Oh. Tyler Reddick, oh, that sucks. He was actually having a really good day too, but oh well. predicament where we have the freshest tires out of everyone. We have the most fuel, and we're also on the lead lap. Now, we have track position now. We're an entire lap in front of some of our rivals. Now, we need to keep this. We need to keep this rolling. We need to keep this ball rolling. How to do that is essentially, whenever the leader pits, we're pitting five laps after. Yep. We're going to essentially try to catch lightning in a bottle twice in a row. What back? Yeah. That's just where you just have to relinquish that position because the AI, AI is just going to die bomb you. And, you know, no problem. At least they, at least they motion that they're going to do that first. See? Because then they run high. But as soon as they, um, as soon as they want a position, they run like a lane lower and be like, "Hey, you know, I want that." What was my last time? Yeah, that was a really slow lap. Nice and smooth. There we go. I still can't figure out turns three and four. That that turn like literally kills me. It kills my lap. If I can figure out that turn, we'd be a okay. I I feel like I have a good grasp on what turns one and two needs. I don't think I'm quite there yet, but turns three and four, I just get so tight. Oh, by the way, Martin Truex Jr. got his lap back the hard way. Denny Hamlin's still the leader though. That's interesting. So that puts Jimmy Johnson, uh, the lucky dog.
And like I said, that's why we just have to keep this momentum going. No matter... Yes, we caught a really good break by staying out and a caution coming out. Honestly, probably like two laps before we were going to pit. That's lightning in a bottle. Um, my, um, my channel page uh, trailer has the exact opposite happening where I made an early pit stop and a caution coming out and I, now all of a sudden I'm trapped two laps down. It's like, oh well, <laughs> that's fine. I guess. Alright, now we're hitting lap traffic again. Oh, I should have seen how many uh, laps down Timmy Hill was. I was purely curious. That was a flyer right there. It's like in order to be fast around Richmond, you have to be on like Razor's Edge. But by doing so, you're hindering yourself because, especially with DNFs on, oh my god, you are. You, I, I can guarantee I'm gonna eventually spin on out because of turn two, because there's a transition right here. Where it goes from banking to uh, flat. And it kills me every time. Here's Kyle Bush here in P9. Uh, with um, Martin Truex Jr. getting his lap back the hard way, he is putting Jimmy Johnson in the lucky dog position. Kyle Busch right here in ninth wants that spot. And I'll tell you what, like if if the race ended right now, we'd be gaining a crap ton of points over our championship rivals. Denny Hamlin's still just walking off with this title, but you know still an entire quarter of the season left. Anything can happen. Kyle's going to make a run at me here in the... going to turn one. I can feel it. No, he's too far away. He's not going to do it. Fast breath gone. Quick pass in a hurry. Ooh, Kyle actually backs off. Interesting. Don't see that. Don't see that too often. Chad Finch, you want to give me a little more space, please? You're kind of in 34th, and I'm in like a third. Thank you. you know, like I said, you don't want to pass on the outside here. That would that would have been the faster way on the front stretch, but coming into the turn, you're going to lose so much time from trying to pass someone, even like a person that's four laps down on the high side. How are we looking here, too? Mandy D's two and a half. Kurt Busch is seven. Dang, what happened to Harvick? Must have dropped. Interesting. And Boyer's a non-factor for the title right now. Kyle Busch, right now, based on what I can see, Denny Hamlin is a con title contender. Here comes Kyle. I always give him relinquish it to him. He showed he wanted the inside and just let him have it. Oh, he's in 13th. He's two down. Oof. Duh. That's even more points we're gaining on him. I thought he was in ninth. Oof. Kyle. Kyle. Kyle effing Bush. What are you doing? Careful. Still there. Nobody out back. Inside. Inside. Clear behind. Clear left. Nah, he's 
too far back. Oh, that was a good turn right there, though. Good turn, too. We transfer that over to a good three and four. Yes. One back. Kyle. Oh, yeah, just, yeah, just, keep, just, just let it go. Let it go. Let it go there, bud. Stay low, stay low. He's Timmy Hall as a pick. Which I was as good as getting through traffic as some of the AI, which is usually all the way around. AI absolutely suck at uh, getting through traffic, except for Richmond, apparently. Transfer on over to the bottom. All clear, no pressure. Johnson still, I still up there. Don't know if he's uh, the lucky dog now. I can't see Truex. It looks like I'm kind of holding station on Matty D, but Kurt Busch is definitely running me down. But you know what? Honestly, finished P6 here last season. Um, I that was actually because of pace, like uh, no no uh, shenanigans was involved. But you know what? I'm talking as if the race is over already. We can't have that. We can't have that level of jinx jinxery here. Um, but, uh, definitely, even if I fall back to, like, the outer section of the, uh, top ten towards, uh, the end of this race, if this race would go long, I consider it an absolute win. Because, like I said, I can't, um, like I said from the top of the show, I came in with, like, zero expectations. As I was uh, getting through, keep an eye on this actually. Careful, still there. Track ball, you're, uh, you're clear. No, he's actually getting through quite, quite handily, so that's not it. It was already an oof right there that I gave myself a uh, right side damage by not paying attention. Don't want to hit the wall glitch. Which, by the way, there is one here at uh, Richmond. As soon as this race is over, I'm gonna clip that. Man, I, I don't, I really am not a master at calling cautions. It, but it just every time I do, it, like I, it, it's always so convenient whenever I do call a caution. It's just like, okay, cool. All right, here's a caution. Uh, like, okay, so like this, this strat will really work out if a caution came out right now. Literally. 
within five seconds. Caution. I was like, cool, perfect. Oh, I forget what lap was. What lap was that on chat? It was. It, it was like 110, 112, something like that. Dang, will he be? Did you see what position you were in? But still, you can tell it must not be a good day. Here's Brad K. Just pass him in points. Where is he at right now? Don't know yet, but with him being back here with Bobby Carter, I can't imagine it's pretty good. Still there. Only P12, really. Nobody out back. He's definitely not acting like he's in P12 right now. But no, what's going on, guys? If you're just now uh, joining, welcome. This is the Cup 24 track. Race number 18 of the season Nobody here at Richmond. Uh, one of my least favorite tracks and to race in single player. Uh, Richmond, even like, even in multiplayer, it's like still like eh. Like, my favorite track to race in multiplayer, as you guys know, is Iowa. And, oh my god, I love me some Iowa. Um, Iowa, uh, and actually I do... I actually don't mind racing uh, New Hampshire online, um, but Richmond, the, these bumps, man. If you're not running a custom setup, your 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 car is gonna act like absolute garbage. And even then, like I'm even running a custom setup, and it's still these bumps are no bueno. We had to shenanigans our way up into not only uh, the lead lap position. Um, because we actually went down a lap, but, uh, man, we were slow right there. That's because we were letting Kyle Bush through. Um, but also, in order to get, uh, some track position, we came, pit stops, uh, happened, like, green flag stops. Um, all the AI pit, we were, like, P12, P13 at the time. And, uh, one lap down. And everyone pit, and I'm just like, okay, now, a caution... This strategy of staying out longer will only... Ooh, I thought Chris Butcher was literally about to come down on me right there. Will only work if a caution comes out, like, right now. And then, literally, within five seconds, a caution came out. I'm just like... Yeah. <laughs> Still there. Clear all around. How are we doing on Manny? Ooh. Looks like... Time-wise, everyone, everyone's kind of been following suit. Not really gaining or losing much time. I wonder what happened to Harvick, though. Harvick originally was in a P5, but obviously that didn't work. Work out for long as Kurt Busch, who was the lucky dog in that caution. I totally missed. Just turns 3 and 4 right there, so just got to give it to him. Right, right there anyway, we're not fighting him. Ryan Priest, I'm actually surprised, is actually gaining pace. But yeah, that's just been the race recap. Uh, the only two leaders that I've seen so far, uh, apart from myself, have been... Actually, no, three leaders. Um, uh, Clint Boyer... Uh, Matty D, who led the, like, the entire first 100 laps, and um, Denny Hamlin. Then I led myself during uh, uh, green flag pit stops. Stay on the bottom here. Stay low. Hate that Clear line. All I would love to be able to arc it into uh, three and four, but Michael. De Michael, I almost said DeMandetto, no, McDowell was up there. I couldn't do what I wanted to do. Alright, so what's the strat here? Um, strat, they, AI are going to be pitting here right around 
like you're right. Lap 200 to like 215 is their pit window. You're gonna see a lot of cars uh, trickling on down. Yo, Cade, what are you doing, man? Welcome. Thanks so much for the follow. I disagree, but with that, but thank you, though. I appreciate the compliment, and thanks for the follow, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can win one for Dale, because P3, three for Dale. Left side. All clear. No I'm crazy, are you going to pass me or what? Clear and behind you. Anywho, um, so yeah, two... Lap 200 to 215 is going to be the AI's uh, pit window, and I say we pit on lap 220. Let me just check my math on that. Oh, that's right at the edge right there. Uh, I don't know if I can make Actually, no, yeah, 220 would be fine. Like, if not, we'll pit on like lap 215 and call it our second stint, and then we'll have to only have to pit once after that. So yeah. Stay to your lab. Pass Justin Haley. All the way up. Get up. Get up. Clear high. And do it for Dale. Yeah, thank you. And I appreciate you coming in, man. Always welcome, uh always welcome my uh Actual friends, uh, not just from uh, uh, people I see on, on Twitch, but like the people I race with, uh, come on in and uh, say hi. Um, Hunty uh, Wild comes in from time to time. Uh, let's see here, we have uh, oh, uh, Geo comes in from time to time. Uh, what's it called? And um, I've also seen. Uh, uh, a couple people from F1 uh, come in from time to time, so it's always nice uh, seeing everyone just come in and just say hi, just poke in their heads. It's much appreciated. Big arc going into turn one there. Slow it on down, roll the center, and get it back on. I can't figure out turns th turns three and four. That is my number one weakness right now. I just cannot figure out that turn. I mean, we're doing all right so far. I mean, like I said, we shenanigans our way into this position. But honestly, if we can if we can just hold it, you know, it's a it's a good point today. I really wish I didn't have to keep track of points myself, honestly. This game being glitched is way too much. Loose off two right there. I had to pump the throttle a little bit. You can learn some things from me next week. Where are we at this week? Oh yeah, it's Richmond. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh my god. Um. I'll tell you right now, I'm going to be running a setup three. Uh, I won at Richmond in uh, Giggity uh, Preset Cup. Um, it, it was, I will be honest, uh, the major, I was Ross, come on, I, I, he runs like, he runs like a mix between the top and the bottom lane. I can never figure out which one he's going to go with. Anyway, um, I was going to run a pre, uh, preset 3, and because literally, right here, long off throttle, and then like, you have to like half throttle it coming out of 2. Here, long off throttle, a couple pumps of the, of the brake, and then pit, yellow pit line right there, back on throttle. Long off. 
like half throttle since I'm running a different setup I can go full throttle right there but on the late run uh, a preset 3 is going to be like like every setup you you, uh, you run even if it's like 1 or a 9 it's going to be loose eventually because Richmond just eats your right rear I found Harvick I was wondering where he was. Uh, he was P5 uh, when the caution came out, and he's dropping like a stone. I'm about to lap him now. But yeah, I won uh, Richmond in Giggity Preset Cup with uh, your lap. with a uh, Preset 3. It was... Um, no contact was made right there, surprisingly. We just kind of... Uh, no pressure from behind. Just came within a spitting distance of each other right there. Um, but yeah, what's it called? Um, I will be honest, though, um, I am terabad in the short run with that setup. Um, like, obviously, like, if you run, like, a 6 or something like that, like, you know, just to say a number, you're going to be running better lap times, but I feel 3 offered the best long run. So, like, all the time that I lost in the beginning, you can make up in the long run. Richmond, it's just, it's just really difficult because, like, especially like right here in turns three and four, that's why you want to get off the throttle so soon so you can roll the center so much better. Um, because the bumps are just atrocious. Like, turn one and uh, two, not so much. It's just coming off turn two right here is the main problem with getting loose. Uh, just turns three and four are just absolutely atrocious. So, like, you literally have to almost get off throttle like halfway down the back stretch. It's actually awful. David Reagan. Oh yeah, we are coming up on uh, pit stops here. Uh, if I recall, there's a little bit of contact, but nothing nothing to write home about. Man, I'm so glad that we don't have cut tires in this game. Um, if I recall correctly, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. was the first car down pit lane, and that was at lap 199? Or sorry, oh sorry, lap 99. Because we're, uh, we're about like, we pit every roughly 100 laps or so. So, he should be the first one down, if I recall. Oh god, this is a four wide, three and four. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna follow Matt Kenseth. Ooh, Joey Logano down there in 23rd. Sucks to suck, man. Hit the apron, that's actually trash. We're good, we survived. Lost a little bit of time, but not a whole lot. Clear right. Let's kind of mark it up there. Are there on the I don't care if I'm running the top. I, I almost said the tie side because I saw Ty Dillon right there. The tie side! Okay, well, now, I, I, now I'm regretting my decision to come up here. I like the clear. Whoop. Ball check. Alright, back down to the bottom. Yeah, high side's also just atrocious. Can't even make it work for anything, really. Uh, Brendan Gaunt's gonna really hold us up, so we're gonna dive it on down. Gas it up in the center, nice and smooth on exit. There we go. Hey, as long as we're side by side, we can get him on uh, braking right now. Oh my god, Martin Trex Jr. is up here. This dude unlapped himself the hard way and is now up here to take our spot. Still there. Racing for Sherry. What a goat. Ooh, hit the even just a tad right there. Still Not enough there. to like get us squirrely, but yeah, this car is starting well, to fall away. I'm just gonna give it. I'm just gonna give it the position to him. He, he deserves it, man. 
outran us, just out drove, outplayed. Uh, when the caution came out, what, about 100 laps ago, he was the second car one lap down. And he outdrove Denny Hamlin in order to get back his uh, lap the hard way. And this now drove and caught us in order to take our position. At that point, you know what? Right Just side. give it to him. This Martin Truex Jr. is a man on a mission All right clear. now. Just you do you, man. Race for Sherry. All right, pit stops are happening, by the way. So, all right. So I was a little off. So like lap 203 was um, was the uh, first was uh, when Ricky Stenhouse Jr. came down, and I did Not see him, by the way. So we're good. Oh, yeah, yeah, this car is starting to fall apart. Yes, it says we can go 32 more laps, but I want to come down sooner. Like I said, um, when Denny Hamlin comes on down, I'm going to come down five laps after. Try to catch another yellow and be lucky. So we've been green flag for an entire pit stop length, so... Just trying to get the best result possible right now. Coming in with zero expectations because it's you know it's Richmond. I mean, one back. Point look oh, Matty D actually caught us now. So that would be P5. Jimmy Johnson actually one catching us right now. That just shows that you know. Um, I mean, that uh, while we are good, like we have a good car, there are just better drivers right now. And still, we're only halfway, so a lot of racing to be done. Just no mistakes. Uh, Denny Hamlin still has yet to pit, so we are still in the green to stay on out. Yeah, cars are trickling on down. It's a wide pit window. Like, it's actually, like, closer to real life where, you know, you, ooh, that was just... No damage right there. Perfect. Eric Jones gets a little squirrely, but nothing too crazy. Um, where, uh, you know, you see a couple cars come down, like, trickling on down, but, like, usually in the game, you know, it's all... It all happens in, like, two laps. You know, you have, like, one group, and then you have another group and then pit stops are done. Richmond is actually very key to real life where you see a lot of different lot strategies. Of like you see like, Daniel's right there. You see like four cars come down a lap. This is probably like the main group that's coming down this lap right now. Didn't hear anything on the, on the radio for Hamlin. Oh, I must've missed it because he's coming down now. All right, so he's coming down on lap 212. I'll be pitting on lap 217. right now. My my time, you can also tell. Oof, yeah, right there. I am a whopping 0.6 away from my best time for this race. Let me rephrase that. So, yeah, I need... This is where fresh tires actually matter. In traffic, you just get so bogged down. But fresh tires actually matter right now. Just like Kurt Busch go, he has fresh rubber. I know he came on down. Alright, so here in two laps, I will not be able to completely lap the field, so that's unfortunate. So if a caution came out now, I'd only have one person to worry about. Yo, Parisa, thank you so much for the follow, man. Any car just ahead. Uh, next time, next time. No mess ups on pit road, please. I.e. no... Uh, missing, missing the engines on pit road and just totally checking on up. 
into the uh, field because that would be a good way to DNF. All right, this time, this time. Inside, inside. Clear behind. All clear. I'm also a big fan of no shift. You're going too fast. So, you have the most stability in uh, fourth gear, so I just stay in fourth gear. Uh, this car feels, it feels really good on uh, the short run, but it's kind of poopy in the long run. Let's up that, let's up that, let's see how we do. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the, uh, the compliment. Yeah, I gave myself a little bit of right side damage because I wasn't paying attention coming through the front stretch, so that's why we're... That would have been a 15-8. Dang. Would have been. Could have, should have, would have. We still have half the race to go. Where do we come out at? You're clear of pit road. Only P5, that's pretty good. Oh, P6, never mind, I lied. All right, right now we're the first car one lap down. Jimmy Johnson is still 10 seconds. We're still in very good shape. Not only that, but I think we... Eh, can we actually just get our lap back the hard way? I uh, Maybe. Maybe. Okay, cool. There we go. Just get her back. Get her back the long way. Oop, oh, and then just miss uh, miss our entry point there in turn three. So there we go. Uh, that's a checkup right there. Dive it on down. We're not wasting any time. Clear high, bud. And that puts a little bit of barricade between uh, myself and Denny. Okay, I need a, right, need a caution to kind of restack the field. That will be perfect right now. Went deep there because Brad Keselowski was looking for that inside, and we can't lose any time right now. Christopher Bell started, like, what, P5, and he's down here in P20? It, no, this is why I love 100% races, guys, is because you're seeing a lot of variance between the field like here right here Christopher Bell started P5 and he's down here in P20 he's still fast he's just he got screwed over on that first caution and now here he is he's passing fourth and fifth on track he has the pace he's just unlucky but that's the way that I love 100% races sometimes roll out you know you have strategy changes you have an entire 100% race to be perfect, and any mistake can be make or break. So, like, I that's why I always feel like, oh, wow, Clint Boyer actually now is a leader. Um, that's why I always feel like uh, winning 100% races are like, oh, you know, that is that was a workout. But also well-deserved. Hi, John Hunter. Car outside. All clear, no pressure from behind. All right, let's see. Okay, we have... A, we have one of the best tires on track right now. Only one more pit stop technically left to do. But only one caution so far as well, so we're overdue for one. Um, I, If I were a betting man, I would say the caution's gonna come out right between this one, or right, right between now and lap 300. I know that sounds like a big window, but like, hear me out. It's gonna be like lap 260. And the thing is, why that's bad is because that puts it directly in the middle of this fuel room. So like, you're not gonna see any cars pit. And yet, at the same time, even if we pit, Ty Dillon, you need to calm down. Even if we pit, we have to pit one more time because we can't stretch and make 140 laps. <laughs> no, the most we can actually do is like 120. And that's it.
And so, like, I'm, I'm, if I were a betting man, I feel like I played this game. I play this game every damn day, Chad. For anyone that doesn't know, I play this game every day. I feel like I know the caution cycle, and it's going to be definitely between now and lap 300. And if you want specifics, like lap 260, we'll find out. That was that was my fault right there. I came up on Ryan Priest. He didn't deserve that. Choked up right there, tied to him. Why are you going down the inside? Okay, we're gonna go three wide in turn one. Hold my line, hold my line. Hold me into the wheel here. Alright, clear outside. Alright, there we go. Ty Dillon, why are you so fast right now? What position are you in? Still there. 18th? Oh my god. Nobody out back. Not only am I being outran by a person in 18th, but it's also Ty Dillon. So like that's a mega oof right there. Double, double whammy. Which, by the way, speaking of being ran down, how are we looking to? Oh well, I guess it doesn't show me anymore. Um, well, we're putting the distance on Kurt Busch and Matty D, so that's good. Um, like I said, we finished P6 here in this race in heat four. For anyone that doesn't know, I do, um, or if you're, this is your first time here, um, I do 100% races. Um, I race the Cup 24 track, Xfinity 25 track, uh, and Truck 20 track championship modes, all single stage, because you know I prefer it old school like that. Um, and honestly, I feel that uh, when we did this race in Heat 4, one, oh, by the way, one season per game, so what this, where I finish here in Heat 4 uh, was P6. So it looks like we were not able to do that in the first hundred laps. If you're just if you're returning, you may have saw me down in like P12, P11, P13, like th down in that range. We got lucky. We got really lucky, and I was able to. <laughs> I literally did predict a, a yellow, by the way. Um, and uh, we are able to get back in the lead lap, and we, oh, Clint, <sighs> I wasn't expecting you to. Get down below me right there coming off turn two. Whatever, bud. You do you. That is a nice paint scheme, by the way. I know that's not to shift topics like, uh, like, um, that, but, uh, uh, I know that's Chase Briscoe's, uh, primary in, uh, Xfinity. Um, and, but it just looks so good on Clint Boyer. Oh my god. Anyway, so, um, yeah, we, uh, we got lucky in that stage, uh, of the race, and as we now come into the final half of this race, we have a lot to work for. Hard from the outside. Outside. P3 right now. Is it, it's, it, oh yeah, no, it's still Martin Truex Jr., but he's, he's climbing. He is honestly, if I were... I, not not to use this phrase again. If I were a betting man, I would have to say that literally Martin Truex Jr. is going to win this race. I feel he's going to chase down Clint Boyer and take that spot. But who knows? So we just got to be... don't want to say this, but we got to be perfect because we are the lucky dog right now. So... Can't let Kurt Busch get back to us. Nor Matty D. Where are they at, by the way? Matty D actually passed Kurt, and that's second and a half right there. Why do I keep doing that? Is that another? Yes, it is. That's another second repair. I keep doing that. I just I, I lose focus right there on the front stretch because I'm looking at the uh, the intervals and I just hit the wall and it gives me damage. It's not that big video. All Don't right, cry over clear. spilled milk, is what my parents always said. Just gotta... I know a caution's gonna come out before our next pit stop. I know it. That's not, that's not even, like, gambling. That's just a fact. There's no way we're gonna have 200 laps. 200 plus laps, technically. 
of green flag racing. Because after all, in the great words of uh, Dennis Hamlin, it's just street track racing. Um, there's someone's going to get spun out. Someone's going to blow a tire. Someone's going to blow an engine, and it's going to cause a yellow. And it's going to happen at like lap 260. Matty D is right there, though, so we do need to start clicking off some good times. Because, like I said, when that caution does come out, we do want to be the lucky dog. And if we're not the lucky dog, well, then there's a chance that we may be finishing a little worse than four. right now. Like I said, he led the first 100, 100 or so laps. Only dropped back to P5, so it's not like he's having a bad race, but it's uh, not as good as, well, leading. Well, that was a good turn two right there. He is clearly faster than me. He goes to the high side. Interesting. Interesting call. Interesting call there, Cotton. Let's see how it works out. Oh. It's going to work out really well because I hit the apron. Got to get out of there. Near door. Yeah, he just outbroke me right there. That was... <laughs> Watch a caution come out like right now. A caution gonna come out right now. I'm gonna be so sad, so sad if a if a caution came out here. Don't worry, plenty of time for him to get caught up because he's liking turn one and two on the outside for some odd reason. I think that's incorrect, but uh, uh, whatever, man, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you feel like you're going faster, but actually isn't. See? He just he naturally goes to the high side, I don't get it. He's gonna be stuck on the high side here though. Stay on the bottom. Ooh, are we three wide right now? Got get back up, get, get out there, Quinn Health. Behind. Don't want to be dilly dallying too much because Kurt Busch is still back there. He, is, he gained incrementally right there, like half, half a second. So we definitely need to sort ourselves out. He's fighting to get back in the lead lap. I'm fighting for uh, the lucky dog spot. Rolls turns three and four so much better than me. It's gonna outbreak me here. I'm giving him plenty of room, and there's only so much you can do with that. How many like? Three and four is just not my wheelhouse right there. How are we looking, to Jimmy? Oh, he is. He is also making his way. Not nearly as fast as like Martin Truex Jr., but he's he's making his way to the front. Yeah, man, he's gone. And we're coming up on lap 260, like I said. Honestly, like I said, if uh, as long as a caution comes out before like lap 280, that's like as long as it, okay. Let me rephrase that. Uh, as long as it comes out after 280, because that's how long we can stretch a tank of fuel, we're going to be fine. You know, even if uh, 
even if like we go green the rest of the way. It's only if it comes out before, because like I said, only we can only like go like 120 laps. So we have 23 laps. Technically, 22 because we are a lap down. In order for that to go, yeah, which, which yes, I know. There's only three cars a lap uh, on uh, the lead lap right now: uh, Clint Boyer, Denny Hamlin, and uh, Martin Truex Jr. screen freeze right there. Usually that's a sign of Still someone there. having issues. You got room. You're clear. Blown tire engine maybe? Because we are on lap 260. That's when I called that there was going to be a caution. Well technically I said like it will be around 260 so like we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Like I said I'm just praying that we can make it to uh, 280 right now. Two eighty and we'll be a okay. Careful, still there. Timmy Hill's just not having a good day. I feel no so bad for Timmy. Behind. One, he's in a Ford, and two, he <laughs> he is like, I swear he's probably like fifteen laps down. I feel so bad for him. He is just not having a good day right now. The only way he's going to gain positions is someone else DNFs, which the only DNF right now we have is Tyler Reddick. I wonder how many cars are on one lap down right now. Because that would be a good indicator of, like, how we can... Like, I'm not saying consolation... But uh, definitely, definitely feel like, okay, how low can we drop here if we do get caught one lap down? No, everyone doesn't like Toyota because it's not American made. I'm just, I'm just making fun of uh, him driving a Ford because he only drove a Ford for the 500 and he drove a Toyota for like the rest of the season. But they, the game puts him in a four because that's what he drove in the 500. So, yeah. But no, it's it's Toyota. Everyone hates Toyota because uh, I, it's not American made. Stay low, stay low. Ooh, that's uh, we're good. Low. A little mess right there. Right I looked down at chat and realized, oh, Ross Chastain's still there. We're good. No contact was made. We're good. More importantly, no yellow. Oh, I like Chevy. Oh, yeah, same. I drive a Chevy. Uh, 2014 White Chevrolet Malibu. That is my vehicle. traffic right now. Nice and smooth, just get through there, kind of dime in the corner Still a little there. bit. Clear all around. There we go. Roll the center, get past Chad Fincham. There we go. Ah. Yeah, um, I've had a, um, I've only had two vehicles, technically. Um, there is, uh, I think I told the story before where I, uh, I, um, totaled my Dodge Stratus, which I had, and then that's when I got my, uh, Malibu, and I've had it since, that was in 2014, 15, um, because I got a year after the, uh, when the car was made, so that was in 15, and the car is 14. 
But yeah, those are the only two cars I've had. But I think I've told that story before, but for anyone that doesn't know, uh, to make a long story short, essentially, um, I was on the way to work, and uh, I <clears throat> I was going past an intersection, and it was a like a long traffic jam, and I could have swore as I was passing it, uh, I, I saw my boss, I'm just like, well, that doesn't make sense, you know, I'm heading to work, she shouldn't be in traffic the other way, so like, <clears throat> I had to like look back and maybe do like a, uh, a double take, you know, and um, uh, when I looked back, uh, there was a car that was stopped in the middle of the street, and I rear-ended him, but again, this is five years old at this point. Um, and, um, of course, so, like, I go from, like, 40, 45 to zero, and, um, of course I was shaken up because I was, like, my first accident totaled the car, um, and I was really upset by that because I was, you know, that was, like, my first car, you know, I've had that since, like, I was, like, 17, and I was 21 at the time, no, I was still 20, uh, I was 20 at the time, at the time, so I've had a, that for, like, three years. And um, I go and uh, adrenaline's uh, pumping, all that, you know, we exchange information. Uh, person was super nice, un understood, you know, but because there was like almost nothing was done to her car. Um, all the damage was to mine, and I'm just like, damn, you know. Sorry that I hit it, but like, you know, it sucks that I was the only person uh, with damage in that. And. Um, Afterwards, as I was uh, about to uh, just go home, because I, I, I called in, I was like, hey, you know, I'm not going to be able to come in today. Um, I start feeling my chest really hurt. Like, it feels, like, really tight. I'm just like, okay, something's wrong. Um, go to the ER, and uh, uh, turns out um, I put a hole in my aorta. My aorta artery had a hole in it. Um... The doctor said that, sorry if I clear my throat, professional, professional right now, um, and the doctor essentially told me that if I was sitting any lower, as I get loose off to, any lower in my seat, or if I was wearing my seat belt differently, um, I would have died on impact. Uh, so apparently what happened is my seatbelt, because I hit so hard and so fast that um, apparently my chest hit the like my, the bottom of my steering wheel, because uh, my steering wheel was at like a little bit of an angle because it was like propped upright a little bit. So uh, my chest hit the bottom of the steering wheel um, on impact, and I launched back into my seat. And that's how I got my, a hole in my aorta. After that, I was just like, oh, well, you know, this is a thing that I have to do. Uh, it took about a year to heal, but I'm fine now. But, yeah, um, that's the story of how I told my car and almost told my, totaled my life. And, again, that happened in 2015, so, yeah, I was 20 at the time. 20, about to go on 21. Oh, by the way, we can make it on fuel now. Uh, if the caution were to come out, we'll be a okay. So we made it. Story time worked. Like, I don't think I made contact with Austin Dillon, but it felt like I did. Because the car just got insanely tight. Oh, okay, I made contact with there. Finish the job. Track ball, you're, uh, you're clear. Oh, wow, Denny Hamlin's dropping like a stone right now. All right, have a great night, dude. Thanks for uh, coming on out, and thanks for the follow, my guy. Jimmy Johnson's flying right now. He's almost in uh, P5. Got one outside now. He's a truck, truck, trucking.
All right, well, found uh, John Harnemichek, so he's in P10, so worst case scenario, worst case scenario, if a caution came out right now, lowest I can finish is P9. Right side. But you know what? We're obviously shooting for the moon here, so let's go for the W. The strat here, I think, is we wait until Clint Boyer pits. No, we wait until the leader, whoever leader it is. Um, Denny Hamlin, I know, has the best fuel mileage because he was the last of the uh, lead lappers to uh, pit last time around. So basically, if we don't pass him now on track, we wait until whoever's in front of us to pit, and then we pit. I'd say we upgrade it to, like, seven laps after, depending on how good or bad the car feels. Like, right now it doesn't feel that bad, but, like, pit window doesn't open up for, like, another probably, like, another 20 laps or so. So, yeah, we'll be... Well, we pit on lap, what, 217 last time? So, they're probably gonna be pitting on roughly the same, so, yeah, it's not gonna be for, like, Another 30 laps, honestly. Wow. Yeah, we are getting loose. We are getting loose off of uh, turn two. Yo, Bully Gaming, how you doing today, man? Hello to you, too. Out of curiosity, has... Has, um... Someone... One of you popped up in chat. And... Uh, you said, like, hey, you know what's going on. They saw your name. Has, has someone ever pronounced it as Buffet Gaming? Just like... Hmm. Pretty good? Still there. Oh, I'm doing all right myself. You know, we're trying to we're trying to finish well here as Brad K decides. You know what? We are gonna take it three wide here, coming into turn one, as you do, as you do on a Monday afternoon. Still there. Not yet. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. You can tell where my mind's at right now <laughs> because I I saw the. Uh, the two ones, I'm just like, well, oh, man, that's a weird way to spell buffet. No, but obviously. That's why you gotta read names. Not be complete, not completely obsessed with, uh, with food. I'm hungry, as you can tell. <laughs> you can tell what's on my mind right now, so after this, I'm gonna grab a, grab something to eat, because I almost called, uh, and a poor innocent gamer, a a buffet over there looking like a snack. Quinn Half, why are you so slow? Still there. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, glad that's over. Just had an orange? Alright, well, there you go. Oh, uh, yeah, we can make it the rest of the way now. And everyone's gonna be pitting and everyone else is gonna make it. Sucks that we're no longer the first car one lap down. Oh, uh, lowest we can finish is P7. Hey! Hey! I'm okay with that. Let's make sure we pit now. Um, let's see how many laps down Timmy Hill is. It's... Oh wow, it's actually not as bad. Michael McDowell is uh, P39, and no one, no one else DNF. So two cars on the lead lap: Clint Boyer, Martin Truex Jr. Good talk. Um, and down here in P6, we lost a position to Jimmy J. You know, I just hope that Jimmy Johnson actually uh, has a good run. He deserves it. He's not going to win because there's no way he can make up uh, that much time on. Danny, what are you doing? Okay. 
Bye bye. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about, but you know, whatever. There's only three people streaming this game? Really? What's your turn three right there? That was that was a piss poor excuse for a, a turn right there. I'm sorry you guys had to see that. That was straight trash. Well, I'll tell you what, usually, usually, I'm one of them. I'm one of those people. I'm actually uh, going to be streaming in a little. Trying to figure out your competition. Aha, uh -huh, I, I see, I see. See who else is streaming this? Well, I stream this like. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, man. Um, I stream. I don't stream this as much as uh, I used to. Um, I do. My stream schedule for this is Sunday through Wednesday. Um, but I do uh, like a lot of racing and all that. So like, I I play this game every day. Oh man! So someone bit the inside. Oh my god! That is not a fun Welcome turn. Back. Got wildly loose. Hit hit one of the bumps and it just ricocheted me Careful, up to there. the top of the track. That was not fun. Professor, what the spot are you in here? P12? Careful, there. Like, why? But yeah. Um, having, uh, I do like a lot of weed racing, so, uh, have you ever been to a real NASCAR race? Oh yeah, plenty of times. Um, unfortunately not recently, but uh, um, I would always go to the uh, Michigan race. Michigan races back in uh, uh, late uh, 2000s, early early teens. But I mean, just because I don't go to uh, the race as much anymore, doesn't mean that I uh, don't regularly watch. I watch every every single race, Truck Xfinity, Cup, Arca. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, less than 100 laps to go, so, yeah, like I said, um, we are definitely good to go to the end. Uh, everyone should be good to go to the end now, so... Oh my god, and Hayden's here now. Yo, Eric is here. How you doing today, man? Long time no see. We got, we got the whole squad rolling up now. Left side. Getting absolutely trounced by the Bush brothers right now. Kyle's in front of me. He's in P8. He's in, like a non-factor. I'm in racing for P4 with uh, Kurt. Stay well. Hey, what's up, Hayden? How you doing today, man? Got tickets to the Bristol Dirt Race. Now, see, I'm interested in how that race is going to go. I think it's going to be... It's going to be interesting to see how, like, Kyle Larson, how uh, Christopher Bell, Chase Briscoe, they do on, on dirt in an actual NASCAR Cup Series car. Um, because they are going to be hands down the people to, uh, to look towards as the favorites because like let's be honest I'm expecting an absolute uh, they're going to be taken to the doghouse if uh, the entire race goes as I expect that's a good block right there for, uh, for me trying to keep Kurt, Kurt behind doing well sorry it has been a while man good brother how about yourself streaming early today yes I am um, usually on my days off, I try to actually, uh, race a little bit early. Um, so yeah, here I am. Still doing 100% races, you know, as you do. Cup Series, of course, so. Unlike you Formula One racers where you have a two-hour time cap, we go, like, four hours. We're going all in, baby. I'm really excited uh, about 
the Bristol dirt race though. But honestly, probably for like all the wrong reasons. You want to see Kyle Larson win at Bristol? I want to see. Uh, I want to see if um, he can actually beat Christopher Bell in the Chili Bowl. You know, because that, that's his weekend. You know that. Man, I also hope that Matt DiBenedetto actually has a good ride come, uh, well, at the end of the season. Because, you know, Austin's just going into it next year. And, uh... Still there. I mean, where is, where is that going to put him? Hopefully somewhere in a top-tier team, like, I, that's obviously not going to be Gibbs. It's not obviously not going to be Gibbs, because you need to essentially bring your own sponsorship. He's betting on himself. Um, Wood Brothers, I would assume, probably, like... They left. Um, take him Xfinity Racing or something like that, you know? They left. Still no word on Ty Dillon, though. We have no idea where he's going. RCR. Oh yeah, Chase yeah, is yeah, in the Chili Bowl too. Are there on the outside? You have to head out. Alright, well, thank you so much, Bullets, uh, and thank you for the follow. See you later, man. Alright, so now we're, now we're holding up the entire field. Uh, Denny Hamlin is a second and a half behind. Like I said, we finished P6 last year. As long as we don't finish P6 this year, and optimally we finish higher than P6, um, I'll be, I'd call myself one happy camper, because after 400 laps, uh, well, 320 down, 80 to go. Well, technically 79, because we're a lap down. But, uh... I mean, it's been a long race, and Richmond's also, like, a Brady bad track. Like, let's be honest, I'm not even sure we it. I hate Richmond. I hate Richmond. <laughs> but Ty will be back in the Xfinity Series? I hope so. Like I said, um, Anthony Alfredo's been tagged to, uh, run, um, to run in front row. Uh, we also know that, um, I forget who the driver is. I want to say it's Mike Snyder? But uh, RCR is going to be coming back full time, like full time, and not with like part time drivers. So they're going to be running with I want to say Maya, but I'm not 100 percent on that. Um, Xfinity is going to be stacked. Like okay, and I say that literally, but like Daniel Hamilton back in full time. We assume Ty Dillon going to be back full time, and. Uh, um, what's it called? Um, what's his face? What am I thinking of, chat? Uh, but basically, I like all the returning favorites. Jeb Burton in the 10, you know, um, Michael Annette, Justin Allgaier, Noah Gragson, Austin Sinchuk, uh, Justin Haley. All those are going to be back. Brandon Jones. A lot of returning people. Still there. Right side clear. I'm actually looking forward to uh, the Xfinity, but honestly, I'm looking forward to trucks as well. Like, you guys know I'm a sucker for the truck series, chat. I love the truck series. Um, I think, uh, um, I want to see what Brett Moffat does with Nice equipment. I want to see Kaz on a good ride. RCR has been sleeping on him. RCR has been with uh, Kaz Growl, like, like Chip Ganassi has been with Ross. Eventually, he'll get tagged. It's just not a crush question of uh, when, but or not if, but when. Because think of it, Kaz Growler finished what seventh in his uh, in his uh, Daytona Road Course start for uh, Cup. That's amazing, and that's a track that like is very very difficult. Because you know you have so many doctrines. You know you have the tricky uh, infield section, but you also have the super speedway section. Uh, that, you know, obviously Daytona is known for. So you have two doctrines of racing being incorporated into one, and Kaz Growl finished seventh on his first trip there. But yeah, like I said, um, uh, 
our, uh, Richard Childress is sleeping on uh, Kazgrau like uh, like Chip was doing with uh, Ross. So eventually he'll get tagged. He should go back to truck for a bit. Um, well, honestly, he should be uh, kind of like... Well, I mean, it depends on like what um, sponsors and what is allowed because you know think about it even though uh, in like in 2019 uh when technically ross was supposed to be running full-time in the uh chip ganassi 42 car in the xfinity series um before you know dc solar shut down he was still under contract with chip everything he did you know like run for truck points he had to run by chip make sure that he was uh still like okay to do so he may be under contract you know be like he may have to have the okay for um, everything that he does, which is unfortunate because I do want to see him go racing. He needs, he definitely needs to sharpen his edge, you know, like Ryan Truex is coming back to the full, full-time uh, trucks, and it's been a while since we've seen Ryan Truex. You know? He's uh, honed his skills, but um, hopefully it's not the case where, you know, uh, Richard's just not letting him do anything, you know? Because obviously he's a Chevy affiliate, anything he drives has to be a Chevy. It's not like he can go to, like, Ford or anything like that. Kind of like how uh, Chase Briscoe, to kind of what I mean by that, like Chase Briscoe, um, he, he had opportunities to go, like, uh, truck racing some more, um, but it was with a uh, Chevy, you know, and he's a Ford performance driver. Ford literally would not allow him to drive anywhere or in anything but with Fords, which is why it took so long for him to get through the Xfinity series because, you know, you know, you have your manufacturer backing that has to okay what you do. You also have your, uh, team boss, your manager, say, okay, you know, stuff like that, it, not saying, not saying that it's, um, like, correct by any stretch of the imagination, but having so many different rungs of uh, people is definitely, like, okay, come on, you know, like, what are, what are we doing here? Still there. Oh, I could have swore I just saw Brennan Gong blow up in front of me. Obviously, oh, I thought. Are you coming down or what? No, he's backing up. That's what Chat, we're almost done. 77 more laps in fuel, 62 more, well, technically 61 on track. Ross Chastain continues to run the bottom, even though he knows that he's in 33rd. But you know, Ross got a Ross, so. Careful, still there. I'm kidding. I I, I love Ross Chastain. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see him in uh. In the 42 this season, I want to see what he does. I I have said my prediction is that he is going to make the playoffs. He's going to be a top 16 driver. He will not win. You know, I feel like he'll come close to it, but I don't think he'll be there. And also, if you think about it, I think I think it's funny that you have four of NASCAR's most aggressive drivers all being in the 500 this year. You have Joey Logano, you have Ross Chastain, Tyler Reddick, and also apparently with the uh, with making his Cup Series debut, uh, Noah Graxon is going to be in uh, in for Beard Motorsports. So I that is going to be so oh, interesting. I knew I was going to get loose eventually coming off too to see. Uh, you know, the sport's most aggressive drivers battle on for the most important race of the year, you know, in terms of prestige. It's going to be insane. Right side clear. 
people, it's going to be a wreck. I mean, like, let's just say, it's going to be a wreck and it's going to be caused by one of those four. I'm thinking in my head right now, do you think a caution will come out? And I don't know the answer to that. And because I've seen, like, half a dozen ones, uh, six to another, uh, where, um, where literally we will go green to the end, but also in the same token where we won't go green. I want to say that this is one of those times where we will go green to the end. We will run out the, these next 55 laps, 54 now. And go to the end on this instance. Martin Truex Jr. takes the lead. Chad, I told you that Martin Truex Jr. was going to win this race, and I still maintain that. The way that he ran down, literally ran down, both myself, but also Denny Hamlin when he was leading, which, speaking of, where is he? Where is that dude at? Three and a half behind. Dang. Um, the way that he drove down, it was like, okay, no, just give it to him. He is way too fast. Which return one and two right there went way too high. Well, Noah, I mean, it's an all... It's been a rumor that's been reported on multiple times, which usually means it's not a rumor anymore. It's basically official. And that he's driving the 62 Beard Motorsports uh, part-time entry for the uh, for the 500. You know, since Brendan gone retired, you know that normally would be... He would be tapped for that, but... Supposedly that's Noah's... Uh, that's Noah's ride. Contact with Willie B. Hold your line. Right side clear. Get past Timmy. And 50 to go now. You're all clear up top. Lose off two. Noah is also just really aggressive. I mean, he won there in uh, Xfinity Daytona, you know, the first race, first race of the season. So it's going to be interesting to see what uh, he can do. Oh man! Oh wow! What a pack behind me! Oh, someone blew up. Is that Kevin Harvick? Championship implications. Actually, no. Wait. Yeah, that was Kevin Harvick. Ooh. Championship implications. Kevin Harvick has blew an engine and is now out of this race. That is the person that is third in points right now. Done and dusted. See you later, alligator. Actually, not third. He's sixth in points right now. And then Ryan Newman, and then uh, myself in eighth, which Here's is going to be a good point state for me. The only person I'm not Where gaining I? points Where on I? is Martin Truex Jr. Do you think he'll race like Stenhouse uh, 2.0? Mm, well, Stenhouse has... I mean... On the play tracks, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna race like Joe Ligano does, which is uh, boisterous and like, hey, you know, you gotta get around me because I will block you. Even if it's my teammate, I'm not gonna make it easy.
but he'll play nice, like, uh, in the first part of the race, but if it comes down to it, he'll, he'll throw it, um, he'll throw any Team Allegiance out the window. Have to wait for Justin Haley here. Say screw it to turn three right there or turn one. Careful, still there. All clear, no pressure from behind. Alright. Oh, I almost did it again. I almost just tank slapped the wall. Because I'm not paying attention. I need a nap, that's what I need right now. Daniel Suarez, let me have this, 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 we're good. All clear. How are we looking? Denny Hamlin looks like to be the only person that can come close to actually uh, making us finish P6 again. Unless another caution comes out, I don't know how that's going to be fixed. And even if a caution comes out, it's weird because the lap cars will be starting in front of us, so we will definitely not be starting where we should, so I'm not going to be pitting. I'm going to be just running us out to the end. But I just don't think a caution is even going to come out to begin with. person we're gaining points in the championship title fight, which is uh, nine drivers long. Uh, or, yeah, nine drivers uh, full is um, Martin Trex Jr. and uh, um, Kurt Busch, actually. Uh, those are the only people we're not gaining points on, but Kurt Busch, we're only losing a singular point to Martin Trex Jr. As it stands right now, we're losing three. Not huge though. Is the criminal kind of like uh, an H4? Yes. I mean, except uh, what you can do is um, uh, you can get a automatic uh, uh, career, not career, um, contract option from Stuart Haas if you pre-order the game. That's like the only difference. Careful, still there, all the way to the wall. 
Command D. Got a sniper position. Three. I know he's just gonna dive it on down, so just give him the bottom to him, let him have it. I really hope the next game really reamps everything. You know, not saying make it like NASCAR 15, or I knew that was going to happen. Get really, really loose coming out of turn four or turn two. But, um, like, honestly, like, giving just giving the game a little extra TLC, you know? Because I, I get it, I get why, you know, the games have been essentially cookie cutters, it's because um, the game had less than a year development, and I, so that's why, like, everything's, like, basically copy and paste from Fleet 4, but at the same time, you know, changes have been made, because now the, the name of NASCAR, uh, well, the game franchise has been key for so long, when a person thinks of like a game for NASCAR, they think of the Heat franchise. So you gotta, you gotta reamp it, make the physics a little better, uh, fix the AI, right, improve, 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 improve. Uh, they said they were. Because they're still going to keep it a like uh, a yearly release, Careful, still there. but uh, I don't think it's going to be. I don't. I, I my hot take is uh, don't get your hopes up. All right, clear low. Add your bumper. Clear high. Clear high. This pusher actually got to the bottom of me right here. He's not for a position, but still. He's in 15th right now. He's been like running around that for quite some time. Ty Dillon should be in probably 16th by now. Oh, he's in 12th now. Nice. Well, NASCAR Heat's uh, going to be no longer a thing. It's, uh, they're, they're, Getting rid of E, there won't be a E sets. You know? Looking outside now. Bottom lane moving. Clear low. Looks like Denny Hamlin's finally starting to get the let out. Uh, that was the, that's partially the rumor, like, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but, um, kind a couple months ago, there was a person that was, uh, saying, like, you know, what if, um, EA brought back, uh, the, uh, licensing rights for NASCAR, and it showed, uh, NASCAR Thunder, to, uh, 2021, but it was, it was just, like, apostrophe 21, and, uh, and it showed, um, God, it was the coolest shit, uh, what the in-game in uh, title screen would look like. And it, it was, oh, it was gorgeous. It was the setting sun on uh, uh, Daytona, like kind of like from uh, looking at the grandstand type of thing. And it had Sweet Home Alabama uh, playing like as like the little music title card, you know, that pops up during the games. It was, it was, it was awesome. But no, no, it, 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 it's, it's, it's fake. It's not real. Got a car low now. You're all clear up top. Being force of the track right now. 
Stay up against the wall. Stay high. There we go. Den Hamlin is fighting us for a position. Stay left. Ty Dillon's not. We're going to try to Careful, use Brendan Gaughan as a pick, but I think uh, Ty is actually going to... Got a headlight out on your bumper. Clear low, bud. Get that right side. high side advantage, maybe. My favorite NASCAR Careful, game is um, outside, hold your line. in the past. S just slid Careful, up right there. Just had way too around. tight. In the past, uh, 06 uh, total team control. God, I love that game. That was my uh, childhood right there. People say Thunder 04. Chase for the Cup was my second. Um, after that, probably 07. And then probably 04. I never actually played 04 that much. Like, in comparison to the other three games that I said. You know what I mean? and don't let Denny Hammond pass us. Sorry, I know I've been going a little quiet because I'm going like an ultra sweat mode right now because I don't want to finish P6. And you may be wondering, why don't you want to finish in a P6, brother? That is because I finished P6 here last year, and I do not want that to happen again. I do not like repeating the same place because I feel like that's just insanity. The definition is you're going into a situation and expecting a different result. Well... That's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get a diff uh, different result here. So I'm trying to hold on to this car. As you can tell, it's getting very, very loose. I am fighting this demon that is this Napa Chevrolet Camaro. I'm trying not to let the pajama. Ooh, Eric Omarola! Come on, give me room, Eric. You're like in 30th. Uh, I'm trying not to let the uh, the pajama wearing Domino's loving Dennis the Hamlin get to me here. I'm gonna fight this. Alex Bowman, I know you don't deserve this. But you're yeah, moved up the track. We're all around. Uh, okay, you know what? We're good. Not impossible. We... There we go. That's that's. We need more of that. I don't need a caution. No. I just need to hit those corners. That was smooth. That was probably one of my best turn threes right there. I'm just getting so loose on turn two, I can't really force it. Nope. 
just getting far too loose off two. You know what? Coming off of four, Clint Boyer, actually, of all people, pulls off Martin Truex Jr., and I come home at six. You know, at the end of the day, it's a good result. It was a good result. I am very much okay with P6. Winky dinky do. <sighs> I'm curious. What does the replay have to say? Uh, it's glitched for the first one, so let's kind of skip. Let's keep on down the line here. Oh, oh, there we go. It's still glitched. I hate it. They also need to fix the replay system. Like, when races are too long, it just shows the same thing over and over. See this chat? There we go, finally. Alright, um... Alright, that was... that. Okay, right there. That was the, uh... Yeah, okay. Nothing else with that. Um, I saw that Kevin Harvick actually DNF, so... Good points day, I'll take it. Oh man, it was within six tenths. He was right there, but so was Matty D. Matty D was actually on his way back up. He, if he could have had like maybe like five more laps, he probably could have had it. Um, looking down. Actually, let's start over. Yeah, let's look at a lot of different names up here, like Ricky Santos Jr., John Hunter Nemechek, Cole Custer, uh, Joey Logano down in 17, Brad Keselowski in 20th. Uh, that's championship contenders right there. Um, obviously we have, uh, down here with Kevin Harvick DNFing. That is the story of the day right there. Because if I r recall my points, he is sixth in the title for the title fight right now. So that means, chat, like I said, I just want to say that my points, my game is glitched. Okay? The points you are about to see is wrong. Do not look at that. My game is glitched. Every time I do a race, I log off, turn off my PS4, and come back to it, it's as if I, it didn't happen. Okay? So this po these points, ignore it. They're wrong. Okay? Exactly. Martin Jr. with a 20.6. We are not in 17th. We're actually in 8th right now. And you can find the points down below in my about section. They're like the, It's like the first thing that's on there. Uh, Kurt Busch, yeah, 40th to 4th. You know, he had a great run. And of course, Kevin Harvick does the exact opposite. Sucks to suck, bro. And you know what? Like I said, it's it's Richmond. I came in with like zero expectations for this race. I'm glad to be done with it, honestly, because the track we're going to now is, I do believe, Chicagoland. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's gonna be Chicagoland next. And I'm just that's the track I'm looking for right there. Yeah, and after that, the Charlotte Roval. Yes. Um, yeah. But, Chad, let me show you all the settings I was running with. Uh, just to show you that, you know, I try to put it as difficult as possible. Um, I put these right here because the AI literally, if you make any kind of contact with them, they spin on out. So, like, literally, even if it was un uh, intentional or not, they literally, even if you come, like, if you make contact with them coming out too, They'll wreck going in a three. It makes no sense. So that's I was like, you know what? More green flag racing essentially means we need a better car. That's why we put it on here. Um, infrequent mechanical failures. Only two DNFs. Uh, usual stuff right here. Um, use manual transmission. 105 difficulty. Can't get higher than that. Uh, DNFs were enabled. If we messed up once, we could have DNFed out of that race, and that would have been awful. Um, usual stuff all around. Strict yellow, only two cautions that entire race. Um, and so, like like I said, and that, that just shows the value of consistency as well as strategy. We've got to make sure that we were on our A game because we only had two cautions to reset. And that was it. And, of course, single stage race and quick qualify. I, You know what? I'll take it. 
Um, if I recall correctly, this should hopefully move us up to P6 in the standings at least, because we did gain a lot of points on our rivals. Um, I don't know. I don't think this will put Truex Jr. back into the point lead. Um, but we will see. But as we go to the, uh, Chicago land, because, because like I said, chat, you guys watch the full Southern 500. It, it's on my YouTube. I race this race. I DNF'd in order to skip it. Every time I, I go, it brings me back to New Hampshire. So that's why I constantly have to DNF in order to get back to the race that we were on. Um, I finished third here, uh, Michigan eighth, um, Watkins Glen. I won. Um, Indy fourth, and New Hampshire was third. So yeah, we have, we've been having a good string of runs lately. Just with Chicagoland, I don't know what to expect. Um, I know we won here in the Xfinity series, so hopefully we can bring that out now. And I actually forget where we finished in the trucks. I want to say in the, it was like tenth or something like that. But yeah.